Flow Tech Demo Lab today, and I'd like to demonstrate the home screen and control panel on the ACH 580 VFD. I would like to start the, the description of the keypad buttons with the left soft key. This key is usually used for exiting and canceling, and its function is noted in the left hand side of the home screen. Pressing this, you'll notice it says options. It'll allow you to change the reference, select drive, and edit home view. Now it says that I can exit. The right soft key is used for selecting, accepting, and confirming. And its function is listed on the right-hand side of the display. It is now utilized for a menu. This is where you can scroll through the main menu and select when you get to the parameter you'd like to select. The left soft key now is exit. The button with the question mark is the help key. And it displays a help page that is relevant for the menu or view that you are in. The off key is utilized to stop the drive. You'll notice that in the upper left hand corner, it says off already. The hand button is used to start the drive manually. The speed can also be changed manually in this mode. The auto button is utilized to run the drive automatically and it will start and stop from a digital input and the speed reference will come from an analog input. This is typically from uh, building automation or serial communication. The USB connector located under this cover is utilized to connect a PC to the control panel. Now I'd like to discuss home view. If you hit the right or left arrow, you'll come across different signals that you can monitor. These are default from the factory, but they can be changed to help diagnose an issue or if you'd like to see a different view. To change, go to options, pick edit home view, press edit, press edit again, I will change it to motor speed used. Select, press done, press done. Now you notice that the motor speed used in RPM is now selected. Now I'd like to discuss the status LED. Continuous green means that the drive is functioning normally. Blinking green means that there is a active warning. If the warning is not addressed to see what the problem is, it could trip on a fault, which is a red light, and will stop the drive from running. This is what the drive looks like when it's in fault. You have the red LED, and you have a description of what the fault is. Once the fault is rectified, then you'll be able to reset the drive by pressing this button. Now the drive is back to green and functioning normally. Now I'd like to point out the status icon, which is a curved arrow. That tells you the status of the drive and the motor and the direction of the reference frequency. So looking at this diagram, I'd like to point out some of the appearances of the status icon. 
when this curved arrow is sitting and not turning, not blinking, it means that the drive is stopped. There's no start signal. If we go down to this one, there's a line through the curved arrow. It's not moving, it's not blinking. It means that it is stopped, but it's because there's also a start inhibit. This one here, when it's blinking between the curved arrow and the curved arrow with a line through it, it means that it's stopped. The start command is given, but it is start inhibited. This one, the curved arrow with the line through it blinking between an X means that the drive is in fault. This curved arrow blinking means that it is running at reference, but the reference is at zero. This curved arrow that is dotted blinking between um, this rotating arrow that is dotted means that it is the drive is running, but it hasn't gotten to the reference yet. Once it reaches the reference that is given, the arrow will turn solid again and keep rotating. This is the reference status. This was the last reference that was set on the keypad when it was in hand. If I press hand, it's going to go to 20 hertz. It'll indicate that it's in hand. And I'm going to use the down arrow to make it go slower and the up arrow to make it go faster. When I press the auto button, It shows auto and the reference signal is changed by this value here. It's not running because there is no start. Now I'd like to show you how to change the name of the drive. Press menu, choose primary settings with the right arrow, scroll up to clock, region, and display. Hit the right arrow. Scroll down to drive name. Press edit. Use the right arrow to scroll back. Use the up arrow to the arrow indicators, which gives you a menu to choose from. Scroll over to the capital. This will be called E, F, dash, one. Press save. Go back, back, exit. And now it's named EF1. And that concludes the overview of the ACH 580 control panel.